Hi everyone, welcome to week 8 of the course and in this video I'm going to take you through a way that we can save data so that it persists or what programmers call persisting data in other words saving it from one launch of your application until somebody launches your application again up until now the things that we've been doing um, if we quit our application you would lose the data okay and uh, of course in most applications that's not what we want to be able to do we want to be able to save data and have it still be there the next time that we launch the application and there's numerous ways of doing this and um, the way that Apple would like us to do it is probably a little bit too advanced for this course so we're going to use something called the user defaults um, so I'm going to take you through that it's a very easy way of saving small bits of information and to do that we're going to use a utility application because we actually want to pass data from one view to another view using these user defaults so we need two views and the utility application sets those two views up for us automatically okay and we'll call this project saving data for the iPhone use automatic reference counting and save it where you'd like to save it so what we're going to do is go to our main view and then go into split view and what we're going to do is we're going to add a slider to our view and a label to display the value of the slider and a save button okay so we need our object library and first of all we need a slider so drag one of those out and if we come over to the attributes inspector and change the minimum and maximum and we'll make it from 0 to 100 and we'll make the current value 0 okay now we need to create an outlet for our slider Okay, so in the usual fashion, control, click, drag. We need one an outlet, and we'll just call it my slider. Connect that. Okay, and we need a label to display the value of our slider. And we'll center that text and we'll make it bold and we'll make it white so it's easy to see and we need an outlet for that and let's call this slider value label connect that up and we need a button and we'll call this button save and from that we need an action an IB action and we'll call this action save data now we want to change we want to display the value of the slider in this label so we need an action to do that okay so from the slider control click drag we need an action and we'll call that change slider label connect that up OK, 
Okay, so um, if we go over to the .m file. And the first thing that we want to set up is simply displaying the value of the slider in the label. So we need to come down to change slider label method. And we first have to make reference to the text, sorry, to the label here. So self dot slider value label dot text equals now remember that the value coming from a slider is a float in other words a number with decimal points okay but the data type required for a label is text so we can't just say self dot slider value label dot text equals self dot my slider dot value okay if we do that self dot my slider dot value we will get an error because this is a float and it wants a text it wants a string so we have to use hopefully you rem remember this from previous weeks we need to use an ns string method called string with format okay and to pass in a float, we use percent %f. And then whatever we want to be replaced here, we need to now put into the method. So we need to get the value from the slider. Close off the method, semicolon. Now that will, if you rem also remember from previous weeks, that will display the full value of the slider okay and <clears throat> if you remember floating values have six decimal places okay we'd so we don't really want that so to make it zero decimal places we put point zero in there okay so if we run that now we should see that the label now changes from 100 through to 0 okay so that's working okay and of course this is automatically set up for us the transition from that view to the flip view and back again so ultimately what we want to do is set this slider to some value hit the save button and then when we go over to the other side there will be a label here that displays the value of that slider So our slider is working. So what we have to do now is set up the save method. So we've got our method here, save data. So when we push the save button, this is the method that will be called. Now the what we're going to use to save the data is a thing called the NS user defaults. Now Apple has set these up really just to save things like preferences okay so if you for example in your utility application on the flip side you had some preferences that's, that the user could set um, that, that's a classic case of using the user defaults where you, you might have a switch where something is set to on or off okay now saving that is not a lot of data so in that case Apple would recommend that you use the the user defaults but we can use the user defaults to save any really any type of data um, there are limitations but for um, a lot of things that we need to do like saving numbers saving names so strings we can do that via the user defaults and to do it is very easy and it's based on a a key value pairing uh, and the analogy is a dictionary so in a dictionary you look up a word and then it has a description of that word so the user defaults work in the same way we can have a key value which is 
similar to the word that you look up in the dictionary. And then there is a value associated with that key. Okay, And that's really all there is to it. And then there's a process of setting that key and that value and a process of retrieving that key and that value. So to call the NS user defaults, we just say NS user defaults and we give it this instance a name like that equals NS user defaults and the, the method is standard user defaults. So now we can say user defaults and what we first want to do is we want to save the text that's in the label. Okay. Now to save text is a string and to save a string object with the user de defaults we call a method called set object for key and the object that we want is our label so self dot slider value label dot text okay so that's a string object and so it's um, going to find that object and then save it in a key that we can give a name to and that can be anything you want but it's got to be a string okay so the the actual name that we give it can be anything so we'll just call it slider value close off the method semicolon so what that will do is it will find the text of the slider value label this here and save it under the key name of slider value and that's the first thing that we have to do second thing we have to do is synchronize our user defaults okay and that will actually do the saving bit right so when we hit the save button it will grab the text from the label and it and save it in the user defaults database under the key slider value so when we want to retrieve that value back again all we have to do is call a method that will find this key and then give us back the value in other words the object that's been saved under that name slider value so in order to do that we need to go across to our flip view and actually create a label so we need a label let's center it and make it bold and make it white so we can see it and we want to create an outlet for it and we'll call it saved data label 